Hi everyone, so today I'm back with a new video and I'm going to be reviewing some brand new drugstore makeup. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you will know that I absolutely love drugstore makeup only because not only is it affordable, but the quality of drugstore makeup has come such a long way, especially when it comes from Wet n Wild. So I have four brand new products from Wet n Wild to review in today's video and, and one product from Rimmel London. So um, if you guys are interested in my thoughts on all these brand new products from the drugstore, Please continue to keep on watching. Make sure to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like this video. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I want to take you guys one by one to show you what I will be reviewing today. So the first product that I picked up is a brand new Wet n Wild Niacinamide Skin Tint. And I found this at Walgreens. And I was very excited when I found out that Wet n Wild coming out with a skin tint. Because like I mentioned in my um, a couple past videos, I feel like 2024 is going to be the year of skin tints. So... I was super excited to pick this one up. The next product from Wet n Wild that I picked up is their brand new Lip Mega Glow Lip and Cheek Colors. Like they have, I was very excited for this product because, you know, I've really been getting into liquid blush and the fact that you can use this for your lips and your cheeks, I cannot, I had to pick this up to review for you guys as well. I also picked up from, also from Wet n Wild, one of their brand new Soft Blur Matte Lipsticks. Now I have been loving these lipsticks for the longest time from Wet n Wild. I have not worn them in a long time, so the fact that they have a new formula, and I am very excited to review these because I, I love Wet n Wild lip products. But they have some of the best lip products on the market at such an affordable price. And I also picked up their brand new So Defined Mascara. I've heard a lot of great things about this mascara, and I've been wanting a new one actually in my collection because I just decluttered a lot of ones that have dried out and just haven't worked out for me. So when I found this one at Walgreens, I'm like, I'm definitely going to pick this one up to review for you guys. And then the last product I will be reviewing today is Rimmel London's brand new, the Multitasker Concealer. Now I picked this up off of, up, off of Amazon and I actually found out about this concealer from their Instagram page. So I have been wanting to test out a new concealer and I love Rimmel, Rimmel London. I have not experimented with Rimmel London in a really long time. So when I found out that they were coming out with a new concealer, I 100% couldn't wait to pick this up and review it. So... Those are the products that I will be reviewing in today's video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so starting off with the brand new Wet n Wild Bare Focus Niacinamide Skin Tint. This is what, what it looks like right here. It comes in a dropper, dropper applicator, which I love dropper applicators when it comes to applying foundation. This product retails for $7.49. I found it at Walgreens. It comes in eight different shades, and I will read the claims on the back of the bottle right here. It says this... Hybrid 5% niacinamide skin tint combines skin-loving benefits with makeup, delivers a natural, healthy-looking finish with a radiant glow, lightweight, buildable coverage, separation may occur, shake well. Okay, so this is what it looks like right here. I picked up the shade Fair Beige, and I will open it up. Here is what the packaging looks like. Very sleek packaging. And this shade, I'm hoping it will be a good match because they only had three left at my local Walgreens. So I... Figured to pick this one up and hopefully, oh yeah, this is definitely going to be a good shade. And already this feels so silky and look at the color, but this, this color is pretty much going to be perfect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be, I'm not going to apply a primer today either because I feel like I just want to give this, um, this product, this is see how it wears on its own. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some on the back of my hand, just drop a good amount. I don't know how much, like how buildable this is going to be, but considering that it's a, a skin tint, I'm just going to apply a little bit more on the back of my hand so that I will take some and let's dot it on my skin and I'm just going to apply it with a sponge because that is like pretty much the way that I would apply I this is, this is the way that I'm always drawn to when it comes to applying my complexion products so I'm going to dot some onto my skin and then I will be using my elf my favorite elf total face dot sponge to blend this in so let's start blending and hopefully this will be a decent shade match because like I said they only had this one left in at my Walgreens, the other one was way too dark. So let's just see. Um, and by the way, I love Wet n Wild like complexion products. Their dewy foundation, the uh, the, um, the original Photo Focus foundation and the dewy foundation, that was one of my favorite foundations. Like both of those were amazing. Those are pretty much the only ones that I wore like back in like 2018, 2019. Like the quality is absolutely incredible. And especially for the price, like that is the main reason why I've always been such a fan of, of Wet n Wild because they, they know how to formulate their complexion products. And so far, so good. Like, this is looking very nice on my skin. The the coverage is definitely light, if you can tell. You guys can see this is definitely light. It looks a little bit light on camera, but I'm in person. This this um shade match is pretty much spot on. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do a wear test on this product because it is currently like 8 o'clock at night and I'm really tired from work. But 
And um, unfortunately, I won't be able to do a wear test, but I just wanted to apply this on camera to just give my in first initial impressions because I, I can usually, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pretty good judge of character when it comes to complexion products and how they look on my skin. But so far, this ap applied beautifully. It actually reminds me of their dewy foundation. Like the finish is very similar. The only thing that's different is the coverage is a lot lighter. But of course, it's a skin tint. You can't expect much coverage. But so far, it's looking really, really nice on my skin. Okay, so I think I just want to take a little bit more and let's see if we are able to just build up the coverage. Let's just see if this is buildable. But I'm loving the texture of this. Like this feels very lightweight and doesn't, like I cannot feel this on my skin like whatsoever. But let's just see if we're able to build up the coverage. Like, so just like in these areas, like right here. And oh yeah, this is looking really beautiful on my skin. Like I am, I can already tell that I'm going to love this because like the way that it blends effortlessly, like I'm barely tapping this onto my face and it's blending like an absolute dream and it doesn't have a scent like it's very yeah it does not have a scent like you know how the original photo focus foundation and like it smells like paint this one does not smell like anything which is a great thing for those of you out there who are sensitive to scents like just being just know that this does not smell like anything and look at it looks beautiful on my skin definitely more of a radiant finish and if you have dry skin like i do i feel like you're going to love this like it's looking amazing Okay, so next product I will be reviewing will be the Rim Rimmel London's brand new, the Multitasker Concealer. This retails for $7.99. I picked mine up for um, $7.23 up off of Amazon. It comes in nine shades, and I will read the claims off of, Am off of Amazon right now. It says, the, this Rimmel Concealer that does it all, it is a creamy concealer that covers up, brightens, and contours. Large, soft, touched concealer wand for easy application. It has ultra, ultra blendable full coverage and a vegan formula, up to 24 hour long lasting wear and hydration. It's crease proof, transfer proof, and waterproof that stays put all day. Okay, I will not be able to test those claims like unfortunately tonight, but in the future, I'm definitely going to wear this out and see if that is the case. So here is what, and I also, I picked up the shade, I picked up the shade number 030 light. So here is what the applicator looks like. This reminds me of the Elf Camel Concealer. Like it has the same wand. And I will do a swatch of this on the back of my hand. Here's what it looks like right here. Like I feel like this is going to be a perfect tone for my under eyes because I try to stay away from those super bright white under eyes nowadays because I just feel like they just do not, does not flatter me like whatsoever. So I'm just going to take some of this under my eyes. And I, this is a, definitely a first impression because I have not tested this out at all. So I'm just going to apply some like right under here. I'll start off with that that much. We'll do one side at a time to see if we can notice a difference. But let's start by blending this concealer out. And I have not tested out a Rimmel London concealer in a very, very long time. Like it has been years, probably from like around 20, 2016 to 2017. Like it has been a long time since I tested out one of their concealers. And I used to love, I used to love their complexion products as well, but I have not experimented in a very long time. But that's why when they, when I saw this on Amazon, I'm like, okay, I definitely have to pick this up. Um, cause I, like I said, I've been on the hunt for a new concealer and I have, I just feel like Rimmel London, they haven't released a lot of new products lately, but so far, so good. Like you can definitely see the brightness. Like look at, look at the difference between this eye and this eye and the coverage. Yeah. It definitely looks like a full coverage to me. Like it has covered pretty much everything. I'm just hoping that it doesn't crease, um, pretty fast. I know a lot of times like, Concealers tend to crease pretty quickly underneath my eyes. I'm, I'm a pretty good judge of character. Um, like, you know, whenever I test out a new one. But so far, this is looking really, really good. Okay, and here is how it looks up close. It looks very, very nice under my under eyes. Definitely has more of a matte finish, but it does not look dry. Like, it's looking very, very nice. And I have very dry under eyes. Even though I moisturized and made sure to hydrate my skin before this video, my skin is just still in that phase of being very dry. But it's looking great. Definitely has full coverage. Like, it's highlighted beautifully, but I want to set this really quick because I don't want it to make it sit under my eyes for too long. I don't have a new powder, but I'm just going to be using my trusty Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Setting Powder. I'm just going to take a little bit of this and it's quickly set underneath my eyes because I, like I said, I want to give this concealer a fair shot and I want to set it pretty much as quickly as possible. So I'm just going to look up and take some of this powder. And this is one of my favorite powders from the drugstore, like Wet n Wild, this powder. They have done an amazing thing. However, they formulated this for being so inexpensive. You would think that this powder costs a lot more than it does. But I just wanted to quickly set my under eyes with this. Okay, and here is how my under eyes look now that they are set. Like, this concealer looks really, really nice under my under eyes. Like, this combination together, 
an amazing combination. So the next product I'm going to review is Wet n Wild's brand new Mega Glow Lip and Cheek Colors. And I picked up the shade Rosy Rosewood. These retail for $4.99. I found this at also at Walgreens. And they have um, three shades all together. And I will read the claims off of Walgreens website. It says, this product is velvety, lightweight, creamy, and buildable. This lip and cheek color delivers an instant natural looking flush and is buildable on the lips and cheeks to an intense glow. Delivers a convenient pop of color or a glamorous flush in a diffuse, soft matte finish. Wet n Wild starts, okay, and then it says that you could, let's see, I don't think they say how you can apply this, but. So pretty much it's buildable, you can use it on your cheeks and lips. So I picked up the shade Rosy Rosewood. Because I feel like a lot of the other shades are a little bit too deep for my complexion. And I try to stay away from shades like this. But this looks like my perfect shade. So I'm just going to do a swatch of this on the back of my hand. And oh yeah, this is so pretty. Like look at look at how beautiful that shade is. And let's just start blending it out with the back of my hand. And let's see. Because they said that this, that this is a lightweight formula. But it has like, it delivers like a glow. And yeah, I can see it has a little bit of a glow. But it's definitely not shiny. Like I think this is... It's looking a little bit more matte, but they, they claim to be buildable. So I'm just going to take some of this. And I think the way I'm going to apply it, I'm going to be using my flat top foundation brush. because This is like the way I've been loving to applying cheek products lately. So I'm going to start off by just applying this. I'll put like two drops because I don't know how intense this is going to be on my face. And I don't want to go overboard. So let's just start off with that and let's start. Blending this into the skin. And like I said, lately, um, Liquid Blush has been such a popular product in 2024. I mean, the year just started off. And as you guys know, like my, my e.l.f. Camel Liquid Blushes, like those are my favorite ones from the drugstore. And for being so affordable, like I was beyond impressed with those. So the fact when I spotted this at Walgreens, I was like, hell yeah, wet and wild. I am picking these up. And yes, this is looking beautiful so far. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but when I go in different lighting... You guys will be able to see the color. And I feel like these definitely are very lightweight. Like, I do not feel this on my cheeks whatsoever. But the color, these are definitely buildable. Because, like, the, the e.l.f. ones, like, even though now it's showing up, now that I applied a lot more, like, the e.l.f. ones, like, it is, like, bam, in your face. These ones can do that, too. But I feel like these ones are even a little bit more buildable than the e.l.f. ones. Because the e.l.f. ones are just, like, they're very, very intense. But still an amazing formula. And this is blending in beautifully into my skin. Like, wow, I'm very impressed with these, like... Like I said, I'm very happy that I am the type of a person now that is experimenting more with blush because when back in the day, I never would experiment with blush, but I'm very happy that I decided on experimenting. But you can tell this is looking beautiful on my skin. Blended like a dream is not removing any of my makeup products like underneath, like very, very impressed so far. And yeah, that blended beautifully into my skin. It's very natural looking. And once I get you guys uh, taking a different lighting, that applied beautifully. So quickly, I'm just going to set this skin tint with my with the same Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Powder because I want to see how this sets. But yeah, so far so good. I am loving how everything is looking on my skin. Like I have no problems with the like every, all these products are blending beautifully together, and I'm very very impressed. And like I said to you guys, like I mentioned a thousand times, but I love Wet n Wild as a whole. I feel like they are an incredible brand. Whenever they release products, like they that they're probably like between them and Elf, they're the ones that I get the most excited about reviewing because they just like the quality it always blows my mind and the fact that they keep their prices so affordable like it's just very very incredible especially with how expensive everything is in the world nowadays but this i'm very impressed with pretty much every time they release something i'm just very very impressed and this is setting beautifully on my skin like wow okay now that everything is set i want to show you guys an up close look at the skin tint at the blush, you can tell this blush is more on the natural side, but I feel like this is a very great everyday blush. If you guys are looking for something that's not too intense, I feel like you would definitely love this, but look at how great the skin tint looks on my skin. Like, I feel like it looks amazing. It's set beautifully without any issues whatsoever. The concealer is starting to crease underneath my eyes, but I feel like that happens with pretty much like with every concealer that I have. But it still does not look bad. Like I, once I feel like once I apply my eyeshadow and everything of that nature, like it's going to really come together. But so far, I am loving how everything is looking on my skin. Like I have no, honestly, no complaints.
so I just applied some bronzer, highlighter, and if you guys remember, who remembers the Wet n Wild loose highlighter in the shade I'm So Lit? Like, I absolutely love this loose highlighter. I want to do a full face of makeup that I forgot about. I have not used this in forever, but I just applied it to the inner corner, and I was trying to do an halo eye, but it wasn't working out, so I just, like, pretty much applied this all over my lid. Like, I'm just too tired tonight. I think that's the reason why my makeup isn't turning out the way that I want it to. But next, I will move on to the brand new Wet n Wild So Defined Mascara. Now, I picked this up for... How much did I pay for this? I paid $6.99 at Walgreens. And this mascara, it claims that it volumizes. It is smudge-proof, flake-proof. And it says, it's a weightless 24-hour mascara that delivers super-defined volume, length, and lift that is easy to build and control. Smudge-proof, flake-proof, flake-proof. The brush includes 348 durable bristles and a tapered tip that grips and loads every lash from root to tip with pigment combing out clumps for perfect definition, infused with castor oil and vitamin E to soften and condition the lashes. So I'm very, very excited. I love this packaging. Like there's something about this packaging that's like what's really made me pick up this mascara. And like I mentioned, I found this at Walgreens. So here is what the packaging looks like right here. Very sleek and I'm very excited to test this out because this is definitely a first impression. So here is what the wand looks like. Oh yeah, this is a nice wand. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, but I don't know why I'm smelling it, but it doesn't even really smell. But here's what the wand looks like. So, and my lashes, I tend to just apply my mascara. I've been using a lash primer lately because the lash curls really don't do much for me. But for today, I'm going to skip the lash primer and let's just see what this mascara does on its own because my lashes are not, my natural lashes are not the greatest. That's why I always tend to go in with falsies. But whenever I use a brush, like this, I get kind of nervous because it just tends to smear all over my eyelids. But so far, this formula, it feels like more of a drier formula, which I tend to, um, I prefer because when it, when the formulas are really wet, I feel like they just wind up wearing down my lashes. Like, and I, I hate the feeling of weighed down lashes throughout the day. Like, but so far, yeah, this is applying very nice, evenly. I, I'm not getting this all over my eyelid, which is a bonus. And you guys can tell this is like pretty much the comparison. So here is my lashes without mascara and with. Like you can definitely see a difference. So now I'm going to build it up. Let's see if this mascara is buildable. And I, I always tend to put falsies on anyway, but I just wanted to test out something new. And I like I mentioned, I definitely have been looking to add a new collection, a new mascara into my makeup collection. So once I spotted this one and I heard great reviews about it, I had to pick it up for you guys. And yeah, so far it is applying beautifully. Okay, and you know, like like they say, like as I'm applying this to my eyes, I can definitely, you can feel it gripping onto every eyelash. And that is the thing that I love because I hate those mascaras that no matter how you build them up, like you just do not feel like they are gripping onto your lashes, but you can definitely feel it. And the brush is very comfortable. That's another thing that I love about this mascara so far. Like, it's a very comfortable brush because I hate those brushes that are, you know, prickly and you wind up, like, really hurting your eye. Because I have stabbed myself in the eye with mascara more than I will ever be able to explain. But so far, that is not happening with this mascara. And I feel like this mascara, you can definitely build it up. It's not looking clumpy, like, whatsoever. And, yeah, I'm very impressed with this. And Wet n Wild Mascaras, they have some really great mascara formulas at the drugstore. And here is how my eyelashes are looking so far, like definitely can see an improvement. And I'm telling you, if you have naturally full, beautiful lashes that hold the curl, you, I feel like you're going you're gonna to really love this mascara because even though I feel like it dries pretty quickly, you still can layer it and it's not giving me that spider lash look. I just feel like you definitely love this formula. And like I told you, my lashes, my natural lashes are not the greatest. And if it's making them look this good, that says, that definitely says something because like I, my, my lashes have never been the greatest. But yeah, I am loving this mascara so far. Okay, and here is how it looks after two coats. Like, I am beyond impressed with this mascara. It made my lashes look incredible. Like, honestly, I love the applicator. I love the formula. I love the fact that it is not a very runny consistency. Like, it dries pretty fast, but it definitely gives you time to build up the volume because look at how great they look. And it feels very lightweight on my eyes. Like, I feel like it just looks really great. It made a major difference after I applied this, and I'm loving it so far. You know, I tend to stay, stay away from applying mascara to my bottom lashes, but for this video, since I am testing it out, let's apply a little bit 
just to like the outer corner of my lashes to see how it applies. So I really don't like, I feel like um, when I used to apply very heavy mascara on my eyelids back in the day, and I feel like it just makes my eyes look a little bit droopy. So I tend to stay away from applying to my lower lashes nowadays, but I just wanted to, let's just see how it applies. And yeah, this is doing a great job at coating my lashes. And like I said, I'm, I'm barely like tapping this brush and there's a lot of payoff. That is, there's a lot of product that comes off of the brush, which is a great thing. Um, but yeah, doing a great, great job. Okay, and I just outlined my lips with the Milani Color Statement Nude, Nude Lip Liner. This is one of the best lip liners ever. Like, I love these lip liners. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the Chicken Lip Color and I'm going to apply this onto my lips. And let's see how this applies as a lip color. So I'm going to take this and run this into my lips. And I also have a lipstick to test out as well. But I just wanted to test this out first and see what I think about it. And if I don't like it, we'll just wipe it off. I'm going to test out the lipstick anyway, but yeah, this color is definitely way too pink. Like this is not the type of a tone that I would go for. I just feel like tones like this, they tend to wash me out. And I mean, it, it feels like a comfortable formula, but I just do not like this color on me. Like I look like I, I look sick. Like, you know what I mean? Like I don't, yeah, I will not be wearing this color because I feel like it it is meshing with my complexion. So I'm going to quickly go and take this off. Okay, and the next, the final product that I have to review today are Wet n Wild's brand new Soft Blur Matte Lipsticks. And I have the shade Nude for Love. These retail for $4.99 and they have six different shades available. And I found these also at Walgreens. And, I, and they also have these at Five Below as well. So I'll read the claims of these lipsticks right away. It says Super Silky Semi Sheer Natural diffuse and boring color for the lips, featuring a range of wearable shades in neutral and vibrant colors with an unbelievably smooth texture. This lipstick delivers a perfectly soft matte, powdery finish, buildable, blendable, and natural looking color. So it says from, it goes, you can, it, it ranges from neutral nude to vibrant red. These velvet lip colors are buildable and wearable for any occasion. Okay, so I have the shade, like I said, nude for love. I'll do a swatch of it on the back of my hand right here and here is what that shade is looking like. Like, oh yeah, these are definitely a lot more sheer than I thought. Like, I thought the color payoff was going to be a lot more intense, but considering that it is, it is a nude, I should have known better, but... And they do smell. They smell really good. They smell like... They honestly smell like candy. It smells like sweet candy, like kind of like cotton candy. So I'm just going to apply this onto my lips, and hopefully this shade will be a little bit better than that lip color, because I did not like that whatsoever like I just feel like it completely washed me out and I can my complexion like it was not right for my skin tone whatsoever and oh yeah these definitely feel very silky smooth like I'm loving how they're feeling and the smell they smell like I smell like I said they smell like candy and I love the smell of sweets so this smells very good formula feels very very comfortable like I'm loving how this formula is feeling. Okay, and here has how the lipstick looks on my lips. Love this formula. It feels very comfortable. Like, I cannot even feel that I have anything on my lips. A very smooth formula. Application was beautiful. The color had glided right on, like a very, very comfortable formula. And you do not feel it. Like, if you are the type of a person who hates matte lipsticks, you will love this one. Feels very, very comfortable. And, yeah, feels really good. Like, I honestly cannot feel anything. And like I said, the thing that I love about this the most is the scent. Like, they smell incredible. Okay, and then to set my skin, I did not have anything new. So I found this old Wet n Wild My Cherry Amore um, setting spray, face mist. I forgot I even had this, but I remembered it smelled really good like cherry. So I'm going to quickly set my face with this. And, oh my God, it smells so, so good. Like, it smells exactly like a cherry, just like flat out cherry scent. Oh, if you love scents, you will love this. I, I'm pretty sure... They probably still have this available on Amazon. I have to double check, but Wet n Wild has incredible setting sprays, but I just wanted to set my face. So, okay, and I just applied a pair of lashes. These are the Salon Perfect number 614 Demi Wispy Stack. Now, you can find Salon Perfect at Walmart. And even though I'm testing out the mascara, I cannot stand how I look without lashes. Like, I'm so used to my lashes, but what I want to do, I want to take this mascara and let's see how it blends my falsies in comparison with my real lashes so 
This is what I love to do this trick anyway, right after I apply my falsies, because it, this is like the surefire way of just building up your, um, your false lashes. So, and yeah, I'm loving how everything has turned out in this video. I'm very impressed with pretty much every single product, and that says a lot, considering that, you know, when it comes to first impressions, you don't know what to expect, but yeah, so far I have no complaints. I am loving how everything is turning out. Okay, so here is how everything looks up close. Like, I'm loving the skin tint. I feel like it looks amazing on my skin. Loving the mascara. The concealer looks really great. It creases a little bit underneath my eyes, but pretty much every concealer creases underneath my eyes, so it's not really an issue. I love the lipstick. Like, it feels so comfortable. This color is beautiful. Very comfortable formula. If you were the type of person that hates matte lipsticks, you will love this one because it feels incredibly comfortable, and I love everything about it. I just love how everything turned out. Like, pretty much, honestly, like the lip and chink duo. It's a, it's very natural, but I feel like this is great for those of you who do not like, you know, that really intense, intense blush formula. This is perfect for those of you who just want something quick and on the go. And you can build it up to be a little bit more intense, but I feel like this is definitely more, leaning more towards the natural side of things. But yeah, I love how everything turned out. Like, pretty much every single product I, I tested out today really impressed me. So next, I'm going to take you guys and I'm going to give my final thoughts on all the products that I tested out today. Okay, so now I'm going to give a quick rundown on all the products that I tested out today. So starting off with the, the brand new Bare Focus Niacinamide Skin Tint. I love this. It put, applied beautifully onto my skin. If you suffer from dry skin like I do, I know you will love this product because it feels very lightweight on the skin, blended in like a dream. It made my skin look beautiful. It set everything perfectly. All the rest of my makeup products applied beautifully on top of this product. I love it. I love Wet n Wild complexion products as a whole, so I wasn't really surprised that I knew that I was going to love this. And for $7.49, I feel like you could not go wrong. I did not was not able to do a wear test, but I, like, I'm sure like pretty much every single Wet n Wild complexion product has worn perfectly on my skin, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be like no different. But 100% recommend if you can find it in Walgreens. I'm sure it'll be available like nationwide and all the different stores soon but at the moment if you check out your local walgreens pick it up it is definitely worth your money i love this so much next for the rimmel multitasker concealer i love this concealer i feel like it did a great job at not only highlighting concealing it definitely provides full coverage very lightweight formula it blended in also like a dream just like the skin tint and this is way better than the elf camo concealer because that was one of my all-time favorite concealers but now looking back Recently, I haven't liked it. I just feel like it looks really dry and cakey underneath my eyes. But this one is definitely better than the e.l.f. Um, concealer because I feel like it's just a lot more of a lighter formula. Like, it doesn't look as cakey underneath the eyes. Like, this doesn't look cakey at all. And I have very dry under eyes. So, if you can find this um, on Amazon, definitely do yourself a favor and pick it up if you are on the hunt for something new. It's definitely worth the money and definitely worth checking out because I really was impressed. Um, next, for the Lip and Cheek Duo... I do really like this product. I feel like it's um, very, this is more suited for those of you who like more of a natural flush to your cheeks. You can definitely build it up, but I did not like how this looked on the lips or felt on my lips. I just felt like it was like a very light, moussey formula. I feel like this type of a formula is better suited for your cheeks because if you put this on your lips, I feel like it's just going to be like slipping and sliding all the way around it. I would not wear it personally like that, but on the cheeks, it did a great job, a very buildable formula. So if you are looking for something, I feel like this is great for like springtime, summer, springtime. You just want like the, the quick, a quick little like wash of color on your cheeks. I feel like you would definitely love a product like this because the e.l.f. camo look of blushes are a lot more intense. But if you're looking for something a little bit more natural, then this is definitely right up your alley. And this is this next product for the So Defined Mascara. This is my favorite product that I tested out in the whole entire video. It applied beautifully to my eyelashes and I have horrible eyelashes. So that says a lot. The formula is like an in-between formula. It's not too wet. It's not too dry. It's like a perfect combination of both. And, it did, and um, I just love the way that the brush, like you can definitely feel it gripping onto your lashes. And the applicator is not painful because I know a lot of times mascara wands could be painful. This one was not one of them. This is definitely one of my all-time favorite mascaras, not only from Wet n Wild, but I can say pretty much ever because that is how, how impressed I am, even though I've only worn this pretty much for like an hour now. The way that this applied, like I love this and definitely, definitely recommend you guys picking this up. It is worth every single penny. And finally, for their brand new software matte lipsticks, these did a great job at um, not only application wise, feel very comfortable. The colors are beautiful. Application feels so smooth. Like I cannot even feel that I'm wearing anything right now. And that says a lot for those of you who hate matte lipstick formulas. Definitely do yourself a favor and pick these up. Like I said, you can find these in Walgreens and you can also find these at Five Below. So 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my review on all these brand new products from the drugstore. Like, I love drugstore makeup. I will definitely be recording some more videos soon. And once again, thank you all for the love and support. I love you guys very, very much. And I will talk to you very soon. Love you.